Hi, my name is Bill Bibbin. I'm the Dell Community Liaison for Laptop Computers. And today I'm going to show you how to change the keyboard on your Vosfro 1310. Okay, so the first thing we need to do when replacing the keyboard is to remove the keyboard that's on there now. I'm going to go through this a little bit slower than normal in case anyone wants to follow along. First step is to make sure we're not connected to our AC adapter. Then we want to turn the system over. We want to remove the battery. The release latch is towards the back. Just slide and hold it over in the unlocked position and the battery slides right out. Once your battery is removed, the next step is to remove the center hinge cover. The center hinge cover is removed by starting with the hinges located at the back of the computer. You can take your plastic scribe, which is just a flat bladed plastic instrument. It needs to be stiff enough to raise some of the plastic because we're going to pop some pieces off. So you'll want to insert your plastic scribe into the little groove right below this hinge cover. And then you'll want to pull up until you hear an audible pop. Then you'll want to repeat that for the other hinge. Once you've loosened the two hinges, turn the computer facing you, open the lid as far as it'll open, and this is the piece that we're going to remove. You'll want to start on either end and pry one end up with your plastic scribe. And once you have it pried up, you'll want to work your fingers under it at each point of resistance, unsnapping it. If it begins to resist you, you don't want to pull up on the end or you'll break the piece. Once it's loosened all the way, you just remove it. Once that's done, you'll see there are two screws that actually hold the keyboard pan in located just above the escape key and just above the delete key. Our first step is to take a number zero Phillips screwdriver and loosen each of those two screws. Be careful not to allow the screws to fall into the system. A good tip on preventing the screws from falling into the system is to leave them in place, lift the keyboard up just a bit, and get the screw out from underneath. Once you've done that, we need to remove the keyboard cable, which is located under the space bar. Just lift the rear edge of the keyboard, and there's a small clip right there that clips the keyboard ribbon cable to the system board. The black cam is what we want to release. You just put your finger on it like that and pull back until you hear it snap. Then your keyboard comes free. Once you receive your replacement keyboard, which hopefully is before you start tearing this down, you'll put the ribbon cable into the clip, holding it in place and securing the black cam clip back down on the ribbon cable. Your next step is to take the tabs along the back edge of the keyboard and align them with the slots on the palm rest and slide them into place. Then you just drop the keyboard into position and your screw holes should line up above the escape and delete keys. Then you simply tighten the screws back on Once the screws are in place for the keyboard, we're going to replace the center hinge cover. Simply a matter of snapping it back into place.
and you're done. So, I hope this was helpful. Hopefully you'll be able to change the keyboard on your Vostro 1310 without any assistance. However, if you run into any problems, please feel free to visit us at support.dell.com where you'll find the online documentation of your field service manual. Also, you can contact tech support in your region if you have any trouble whatsoever. Thank you.